Welcome back everyone to Miggle Size. Remember, it's the giggle and the miggle that matters. Now, do you remember when we did our balloon uh, obstacle course race? I've left my soft toys out. Soft toys are so good for so many games. And I'm gonna show you two games in one this time. You can play balloon soccer or balloon hockey. Now, if you wanna play balloon hockey, I'll just go get what I need. If you've got a pool noodle, this is great for balloon hockey, but here is something that's so, so important. You've got to make sure you've got lots of room if you're playing inside. So maybe if mum and dad could back the cars out of the garage in there or if it's safe to play there, because you know, when we're swinging this, we don't want to knock anything over that we might break. And one of the rules are, and it's one of my really, really cranky rules, is you only ever hit the balloon with the noodle. You don't hit another person or another thing. Alrighty, now that's a lot of fun. So we can play balloon hockey with that. And of course we can also play balloon. Sorry, I didn't mean to throw that down so hard. We can also play balloon soccer using this. Now, if you have a brother or sister to play with, you obviously you can use this, but also you can actually put two of your soft toys like a goal. So if I was playing with my brother or sister, that would be my goal. And that would be their goal. Obviously, you'd put the balloon down and your job is to knock the balloon through the goals. Now, if you want the game to be a lot of fun, have a balloon per person. So then there's lots of balloons in play. But that's not the game we're going to play today because I'm just going on the fact that sometimes you might have to play on your own because your brother and sister might be busy doing schoolwork. Alrighty. So I'm just putting everything back now in order. So the first game I'll play for you is balloon hockey. Just get this here. So it's really, really simple. When the game starts, your job is to knock the balloon through the obstacle course. Now it's not that easy, but it's a lot of fun. And we get it through there. Now, if you don't have a pool noodle and you want to play balloon hockey, find something else soft that you can use. If you look around and use your imagination, I think you could find something. Um, maybe even, you know, the Glad Wrap cardboard rolls. Get one of them out, I know it'll be short. You might even be able to join something together, tape it together, put some rags around the outside to make it nice and soft. But most people got blue, um, pool noodles in their house. And of course, you've got to knock it through this way. And as always, the idea is to see how many times you can get it through. Either count yourself or get mum and dad to count for you how many times you do it to the music, and then of course the next time the music comes on, you try and beat your own score. Now, to play balloon soccer, same thing. So you've got two games one. Now, if you really want to have a lot of fun, you can play the game and make it a combination of balloon soccer and balloon hockey. See what I'm doing here? Kicking it through all the way, get it through this way, kick it around, and there, back this way, up, oh, oh, this way, kick it through this way, and around again I'll go. I think you've got the idea. So when we come back, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the music on and I'm going to combine both balloon hockey and balloon soccer together and it's going to be a lot of fun. See ya!